Hello, and welcome to Launch Code Decoded, where we go behind the scenes of the hottest tech events, products, and services. Today, I'm joined by Sony Professional Display Solutions, Rich Ventura. Thanks for joining me today, Rich. Hey, Megan. Always great to be with you guys. Yeah, we're so happy to have you here. So we're undertaking an exciting initiative starting on March 1st, which is today, AI Month. So if, in case people didn't know, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. Rich, tell us a little bit about what what is AI Month and why Sony is so excited to sponsor AI Month? Well, you know, the great thing about AI Month, and uh, I remember when we, when we were first talking about this, we were talking about what's unique, what's going on in the industry. And everything we keep talking about is how AI is really permeated in the industry, whether it's in digital signage and doing measurement of analytics and looking at conference rooms and measuring people coming in the room. But a piece we always forget about is there's more than just measurement and interactivity that's happening. AI also is a tool that allows us to do everything from how do you track a person? How do you uh, bring a person into full frame on a camera and all that stuff? So it really is an all encompassing conversation. We talk about this for AV. Um, it isn't just what digital signage can do or just what conference rooms can do. It, it really is more encompassing. And by the way, it's not even just about cameras because you'll even hear about companies that are using AI in their system for audio and for microphones and measuring the room. So. AI truly has found a place in AV, and I think that's why it's really important that we have a, a, this month, this time period, to talk about what AI is doing for our industry. Let's take a little bit more into that. You kind of touched on why emerging tech professionals should pay attention to AI developments and pro AV professionals, but what, what really, like, what is the benefit to people to knowing more about artificial intelligence? Well, Let's talk about, let's kind of go all the way to the end point, right? And that's how the end users are using and how customers are interacting with, with the systems. Um, think about if you look at uh, the older conference room setups or the older auditorium setups where you had cameras chasing people as they're walking by. It's that jiggy notion, right? It's constantly bouncing around. And for some, it gives you motion sickness. For me, it's really, it's annoyance, right? So when you integrate AI into the system, first off, it creates more of a smooth transition as cameras are following people. That's really important. So it's the experience, right? The other part is AI starts anticipating things. So it anticipates as someone moves forward that, hey, I should zoom out a little bit because I'm going to be too, it's going to be too close. Or as they go back, I may need to zoom in further. Uh, so it, as a system, it, it's doing things that normally a camera operator would have to sit there and do. And I hate to say this, we're kind of getting rid of camera operators in a way because the systems are going to do more of that. Uh, but it also, it's also creating more of, it's, it's enriching the overall experience. Um, another area that you look at is you look at uh, things like our edge analytics platform, where it's doing handwriting extraction and it's doing chroma keyless. And the AI system inside that little edge box is actually looking at the handwriting on the, on the wall and it's uh, scanning it in, pretty easy way to say it, scanning it into the system and then it's superimposing it. And then as I erase it, it'll delete it and everything like that. That's all done by the intelligence that's built into uh, the system. That is really, really important. Uh, it's just all about the experience. We start then looking beyond that. You start talking about audio experiences and measuring a room and then make sure audio is set in the right areas. Uh, with microphones, making sure that you're measuring the, micro the room and really doing a good job because we all know when you go to a conference room, you're going to have people sitting all over the place. You might have quiet talkers over here or loud talkers over there. Someone's sitting in a corner. The microphones are then measuring the space. So AI has really become an important job where in the past we would spend all this money to calibrate a room, to have an operator sitting there, make sure that they're moving with moving as someone's speaking, doing all those things. That's really what, why AI becomes really important in the AV space. You talked a little bit about edge analytics. What other AI innovations does Sony have? So we just recently made an awesome introduction um, at, just at ISE. And uh, the feedback's just been absolutely amazing. Our A40 and A12 um, SRG cameras. So built into that, they're doing full auto framing. So people go, well, okay, auto framing, what does that mean for me? What it's doing is as you're walking, as you're a speaker walking, it's keeping you within the frame, whether it's a full body frame, uh, from the waist up or even the neck up, it's keeping that in as you move forward, as you move back, left to right, does all those different things. The other important thing about this is it is also as I, you know, if I'm there speaking and say somebody walks across from me, it doesn't lose the speaker. That's probably one of the biggest problems when you look at auto tracking and auto framing solutions that are out there is they're not staying on the speaker. 
uh, that's where the AI kicks in even in overdrive, right? Because it's got that person that's speaking. It knows that's the person. I'm going to stay on that person as they're speaking. Think about in an education environment where maybe a person is up front uh, teaching about something and there's other people on the stage. It's staying on the speaker while everyone is walking around. So it really is a uh, it's it's a it's a massive um, uh, coup or change within the industry with what we've introduced with these new cameras. It is really cool. Like I, I don't think people understand without seeing it. And obviously, you're going to be seeing a lot of that on Launch Code and Rave Pubs. But when somebody's walking through a crowd, like it's not just you're moving around the room tracking them. Like you could be next to how many other people, and it'll it, doesn't, it doesn't even really matter because it's really focused on the speaker themselves, right? And um, <clears throat> this is Sony architecture. This is Sony tech, right? This is our AI architecture and technology. Um, one of the things I really, I was really impressed by, and by the way, you kind of said it, seeing is believing. It isn't like saying, well, here's the spec. Oh, great. It's going to do what I want it to do. You really got to see what it does. And one of the perfect examples that we saw and we were demonstrating with customers is we would have a person, I kid you not, this whole demonstration, first they would walk left and right. It was nice and smooth. Then they ran left and right, nice and smooth. They squatted down. It squat. It focused on them. They hopped up. It focused on them. You didn't lose focus. All of a sudden, we ran five people in front of them. It didn't lose focus. It maintained and saw uh, the individuals and really focused on the individuals, right? So this was really, really something that um, when you see it, and I can tell you right now, at Infocom especially, um, the uh, you're going to see it tracking. You're going to see how we're going to do it because we're going to actually have a demo room. You're going to see how it's tracking people and doing all this stuff. It is truly seeing as believing. I can't wait to see it at Infocom. But going back to AI Month, what exactly does Sony have planned for AI Month? Uh, we're doing a lot of great things. Um, I know that we're uh, speaking on some panels, and we've got a lot of stuff that we're talking about from a marketing perspective. Um, you know, I think we're, gosh, I believe we're on like three or four different panels talking about the entire week. And I know we're talking about how it's being used in classrooms. There's conversations around uh pro av and how it's being used uh how digital signage is even ai i know that there are surveys that are going to be going out talking about how the importance of, of ai is for everyone so sony's going to be very active this uh, entire month around this yeah i'm excited about it and you can find the most deals details probably next week during launch week seven sony is sponsoring a couple days we're obviously going to be talking about it specifically on pro av day i'm pretty sure you're going to demo that camera that we just talked mm -hmm. about so you can stay tuned launch week seven. You can go to launch that's L A V N C H.com and you can register there. It's a free event and you get a bunch of CTSRUs. Plus you'll get a sneak peek at what Sony is doing for AI month and this really cool technology. And you'll find out all of the events there because we'll be talking about them. So Rich, if people want to learn more about you and Sony professional display solutions, where can they find you? Obviously hitting the pro Sony website, best place in the world to get it hitting our YouTube page, LinkedIn, Twitter, we're everywhere. So just, and, and if you really have a hard time finding us, you can always hit me up on LinkedIn. I'm out there uh, quite a bit as well. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode. In the meantime, be sure to check out launchcode.com for all of the latest emerging tech news.